क्वेश्चन इज गिवेन ए टाइम्स बी प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड बी टाइम्स ए प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू फोर हंड्रेड सी टाइम्स ए प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू फाइव हंड्रेड सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दी वैल्यू ऑफ ए प्लस बी प्लस सी इन दिस इक्वेशन हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट दी वैल्यू ऑफ ए प्लस बी प्लस सी लेट सी सोल्यूशन सोल्यूशन सो फर्स्ट इज ए टाइम्स बी प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड नाउ ए टाइम्स बी प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड सो वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई दिस टर्म सो ए टाइम्स बी दैट इज ए बी प्लस ए सी प्लस ए टाइम्स सी दैट इज ए सी ए बी प्लस ए सी इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड नाउ वी आर गिविंग दिस इक्वेशन नंबर वन नेक्स्ट इज b times a plus c is equal to 400 so b times a plus c is equal to 400 this is given so we are multiplying term here so a times b so ab plus bc is equal to 400 this is equation number 2 last one is C times a plus b, c times a plus b is equal to five hundred. So c times a plus b is equal to five hundred. So we can write this a times c that is c a or a c plus b c b times c that is b c is equal to five hundred. This is equation number three. Now we got here three equation one, two, and three, right? So we are doing first. We are adding equation one and two here by adding equation one and two. We will get equation one. Equation one is a b plus a c is equal to three hundred. So a b plus a c is equal to three hundred. Equation two, a b plus b c is equal to four hundred. A B plus B C is equal to four hundred. We are adding this to equation. Now, A B plus A B so two A B plus A C plus B C plus A C plus B C is equal to four plus three seven hundred. Right? Now this is A C plus B C. You can. Mark this term. A C plus B C is equal to seven hundred. This is uh, equation number th uh, four. You can say that. Now two A B plus A C plus B C is equal to seven hundred. Uh, but A C plus B C value of A C plus B C is five hundred according to equation three. You can see here A C plus B C is equal to five hundred, right? According to equation three. So two A B. Plus A C plus B C is five hundred is equal to seven hundred. So two A B is equal to seven hundred minus five hundred minus five hundred. Don't give equation for this is so two A B is equal to seven hundred minus five hundred. So we can say here two A B is equal to seven hundred minus five hundred two hundred. Therefore A B is equal to two hundred. Divided by two, and finally value of A B is equal to two one zero two zero zero. A B is equal to hundred. This is the value of A B is equal to hundred. Now this is equation number four. Now we have to add equation one and three. So equation one, equation one is you can check equation one is A B plus A C is equal to three hundred, and equation three is A C plus B C, A C plus B C is equal to five hundred. Now we have to add this two term. So when we are adding this term, now you can see here A B plus A C. And here, uh, 
so here is ac and here is ac so ac plus ac we can say this is 2 ac plus ab plus bc plus ab plus bc is equal to 5 plus 3 8 800 so now you can mark here ab plus bc because we have value of ab plus bc already given in equation so we can say 2 ac plus value of ab plus uh, ab plus bc ab plus bc is 400 already given in equation so ab plus bc is 400 so we can write here 400 is equal to 800 so 2 ac is equal to 800 minus 400 therefore 2 ac is equal to 400 therefore ac is equal to 400 divided by 2 2 2 is a 4 0 0 so value of ac is equal to 200 this is the value of ac right so value of ac is 200 now you can see uh, you can say this is equation number 5 and this is equation number 6 because uh, uh, this is equation number 6 okay so now we have to add equation 2 and 3 now add equation 2 and 3 so when we are adding equation 2 and 3 you can check equation 2 that is ab plus bc AB plus BC is equal to 400 and uh, equation 3 is AC plus BC is equal to 500. We have to add these two equation. When we are adding these two equation, we will get here AB plus AC, this one AB plus AC plus 2BC, BC plus BC, 2BC is equal to 5 plus 4, 9. 900 now ab plus ac so ab plus ac is equal to 300 already given you can mark this term ab plus ac is 300 already given so we can say uh, this is equation number 7 now ab plus ac is 300 so here 300 plus 2bc is equal to 900 therefore 2BC is equal to 900 minus 300. So 2BC is equal to 9 minus 3, 6, 600. Therefore, BC is equal to 600 divided by 2. 2, 3 is a 6, 0, 0. BC is equal to 300. BC is equal to 300. Now this is equation number 8. AB is equal to 100, BC is, uh, sorry, AC is equal to 200 and BC is equal to 300. AB is equal to 100, this is by equation 4, by equation 4 and this is by equation 6 and this is by equation 8. We already got this value. Now, we can multiply here. 4 and 6 equation 4 and 6 ab times ac divided by equation 8 so here equation 4 times 6 divided by equation 8 we have to do this now equation 4 equation 4 is ab equal to 100 so we can write here ab first term that is ab times equation 6 that is ac ab times ac divided by equation 8 that is bc is equal to ab value of ab is 100 ac is 200 divided by equation 8 that is 300 so 100 3 so we got here value of and here you can see uh, c is cancel from c and b is cancel from b so here a times a that is a square is equal to 200 divided by 3 200 divided by 3 this is the value of a square this is equation number 9 now we have to do equation multiply equation 4 and 8 equation 4 multiply with equation 8 
divided by equation 6. So we will get here equation 4 that is AB, equation 8 that is BC and equation 6 that is AC is equal to value of AB is 100, BC is 300 and equation 8 that is AC, AC is equal to 200. So 100 to the 200 and this 2 is cancelled from this so 150. Now here in this term A is cancelled from A, C is cancelled from C. So we will get here B square. So B square is equal to 150. Right? So this is the equation number 10. Equation number 10. So this is equation number 10. B square is equal to 150. This is 150. B square is equal to 150. Now multiply equation 6 and 8. Multiply equation 6. 6 multiply with equation 8 divided by equation 4 divided by equation 4 so equation 6 and 8 is AC times BC divided by equation 8 sorry equation 4 is AB is equal to value of AC is 200 times value of BC is 300 divided by value of AB is 100 so 100 to the 200 so 2 uh, uh, two times 300 is equal to 600 and here b is cancelled from b a is cancelled from a so left term that is c square so value of c square is equal to 600 value of c square is equal to 600 right this is equation number 11 now a square is equal to 200 divided by 3 this is equation number 9 b square is equal to 150 equation 10 c square is equal to 600 this is equation 11 and one more thing we know that we know that value of a b is equal to 100 a c is equal to 200 and b c is equal to 300 by equation 4 by equation 6 and by equation 8 right now we know one formula that is a plus b plus c because we have to find out the value of this term a plus b plus c is equal to what so we are using formula a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 times a b plus b c plus a c right this is the formula now is equal to value of a square a square is you can see here a square equal to 200 divided by 3 by equation 9 and value of b square that is 150 c square is 600 so we have to substitute this value here so 200 divided by 3 plus b square is 150 plus c square is 600 plus 2 times value of AB, AB equal to 100, AC equal to 200, BC equal to two, uh, 300. So, 100 plus 300 plus AC is 200. Right? Now, is equal to 200 divided by 3 plus 150 plus 600. So, it will become 750. So, 750 plus 2 times now we are adding this term 300 plus 200 500 plus 100 that is 600 so 600 now is equal to 200 divided by 3 plus 750 plus 2612 so 1200 right now is equal to 200 divided by 3 plus when we are adding this term 1200 plus 750 we will get here 1950 now is equal to we are taking now lcm here so 3 3 is cancelled from 3 so 200 plus when we are adding uh, 1950 times 3 then we will get here when we are multiplying with uh, 1950 with 3 then we will get here 5850 now is equal to we can say value of this term is 0, 5, 0, 
6 divided by 3. Now, this is the value of a plus b plus c whole square, right? Now, we are taking square root both sides because we have to find out the value of a plus b plus c. So, taking, taking square root both sides, then you will get here a plus b plus c whole square and here square root is equal to 6050 divided by 3 and this is plus minus. Now square and square root it will cancel here. So left term that is a plus b plus c we have to find out the value of this term a plus b plus c is equal to plus minus. When we are doing factor of uh, 6050 then we will get here 2 5 are 10 5 times 11 times 11. This is the factor of this term divided by 3. Now is equal to plus minus. Now here 2. So 2 times this is uh, 5 square. So 5 square times 11 square divided by 3 is equal to plus minus. Now square is cancelled from square root and here also square is cancelled from square root. So 11 5 are 55. So 55 come outside. Plus minus 55 left term that is 2 divided by 3. 2 divided by 3. Now is equal to is equal to plus minus 55. We can write this square root of 2 times divided by square root of 3. We are separating this term. So square root of 3. Now we have to rationalize this denominator so we can multiply here with plus minus 55 square root of 2 times square root of 3 divided by uh, sorry multiply by square root of 3 times square root of 3. Now is equal to plus minus 55 square root of 2 times square root of 3 divided by this is square root of 3 times square root of 3 so square root of 3 whole square whole square so it is cancelled from here so we can say plus minus 55 and here 2 3 is a 6 square root of 6 divided by 3 so we can say here value of a plus b b plus c is equal to plus 55 square root of 6 divided by 3 or a plus b plus c is equal to minus 55 square root of 6 divided by 3. This is the solution. Thank you.